staff at Oracle. I welcome Mr. Anirban to our platform to share your expertise in this domain and enlighten our attendees so that uh, they can make use of this trending tool in their businesses and day-to-day -day life. So over to you, Mr. Anirban, without wasting any time. Hello, everyone present over here. Uh, thanks for the introduction, Prashant. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, so I have uh, like today we'll be discussing about uh, chat GPT and its application uh, on our various industries that like uh, how we can regularly like in a, in a layman's term, how we can apply without knowing much technicals of, you know, AI and how we can directly get into the application of chat GPT. And uh, yeah, so the best, the, the main thing is many people know about this chat GPT and uh, hardly any people apply and if they are also applying, but they are not able to apply at its full potential. The problem with that is uh, the main problem why this happens is because people take chat GPT as like uh, somewhere where they are asking a, a q and Okay, so if you are treating chat GPT as a q and the answers will also be like q and Okay, so in order to best, uh, you know, best apply chat GPT, uh, there are methods, few things we will take, uh, you know, we'll learn this in today's, you know, uh, sessions of 40-45 uh, minutes. And yeah, so without wasting much time, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing, uh, first, the chat GPT was involved, uh, you know, discovered or invented or, you know, it was done by the company known as OpenAI. It's a research artificial intelligence company. Uh, and it's a research lab. It's a, it's supposed to be non-profit and, uh, but now currently it's, you know, the, everything has a little bit moved towards the profit side. So the founders were Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman initially, and then other teams also joined at the end. And obviously Elon Musk doesn't, uh, share the same principle with, uh, open AI anymore. So he has kind of bifurcated and created his own version uh, with uh, Twitter itself, uh, which is competing against with uh, OpenAI. So, uh, so OpenAI initially, uh, uh, you know, before ChatGPT, there have been uh, various, you know, development towards the GPT, okay, generative uh, pre-transformers. And uh, uh, other than that, there has been other developments like Dolly, uh, if you have heard about Midjourney and all these things have already taken place alongside ChatGPT as well. Okay, and they also like chat GPT can do a lot of thing in the textual data where there is data in form of text, uh, mid journey and all these things does your work in image data. Okay, so, so with uh, this is the Sam Altman is the current CEO and uh, he uh, has been since uh, 2021. And uh, so what is chat GPT? Chat GPT is a large language model. So what do I mean by languages? Because uh, first of all, it is trained on simple languages that we speak. So that is why chat GPT is known as large language model. And why large? Because the entire, it is told that uh, the entire English language is there was used while training chat GPT. Okay. So before, before chat GPT around three years, four years back, there was a technology known as BERT. BERT used to, BERT was the basic unit for Google for a lot of tasks. Like, like when you are writing something on Google or you are searching something, automatic search completion. And when you are writing a mail or uh, automatic mail completion, mail composing automatically comes. So, uh, so that is done through BERT only. So BERT is a large language model. It is based on something known as transformer architecture. And uh, we, we will see the architecture as well. And it is trained on a data set of internet text to generate human-like responses. So chat GPT's goal has been always to imitate humans and uh, to generate something like human. And that is why chat GPT became so famous uh, because it can think like us and it can think even better than us. And it can process huge information uh, at a very few amount of time, like within a minutes and within seconds, it can create scripts for you. It can create a lot of things. Like if you want to, uh, you know, if you are a content creator also, it can create a lot of scripts for you. And uh, definitely you have to know the best usage of it, first of all. 
it is capable of performing a wide range of language tasks such as question answering okay this is the basic thing which people use uh how like question answering you ask some question your chat gpt gives some answer so that is the basic minimum which people know how to use and that is where we are not able to proceed ahead and no other form other how you can use your chat gpt so there is uh question answering there is text completion okay you give fill in the blanks it can complete fill in the blanks and it can translate languages and the modest performance can be fine-tuned for your specific application so what do i mean by fine tune is uh on a daily basis you can use chat gpt for your regular basis but suppose you have a very specific usage which you have a very uh suppose you are trying to you are a company which actually files bugs it has products it has by uh, it has bugs uh around uh those product okay every quarter you're filing bugs and lakhs and lakhs of bugs about your products now you want those bugs in those bugs there are few machine generated text and few text which has certain types of words which are which can be understood by people of your company only so if you want to create chat gpt or if you want your chat gpt to solve certain aspects or certain things for you you use something known as fine tuning you tune it for your use case for your specific need that is known as fine tuning so so <clears throat> this is what uh uh is there a echo from my microphone i think there is a issue on that the rest of the people is it clear yeah it's clear okay yeah, yeah. okay okay so yeah so fine tuning is like if you want to use it for your specific case you can tune the chat gpt you can retrain it you can retrain the model not use the vanilla um, uh, chat gpt which you get it off the shelf you can use it and you can apply it and you can renew it for yourself okay and uh then uh comes the main thing that is the transformers okay chat gpt uh, uh you know gpt first of all in order to understand chat gpt you have to understand gpt3 okay gpt3 is the precursor to chat gpt and after gpt3 uh there's something known as gpt3.5 which came and uh, gpt3 is based on the uh, transformers architecture transformer architecture comprises of encoder and a decoder what is a encoder encoder is something which takes in your uh english information suppose you give if you give sir like i like cheese okay encoder takes this information and converts it into its encoding what it, its encoding means its form of understanding okay and then it converts that encoding into embeddings okay embeddings is what uh basically if you are speaking something like i am speaking like i am i am from india okay or i am indian this is what you and me will understand somebody understanding english will understand but machine doesn't understand these text these words so they convert it into their own understanding which is known as numerical encoding okay or this numerical encoding is converted to embeddings embeddings are nothing like your english words are converted to matrices matrices which only only computer can understand so in simple languages encodings or embeddings are something which machines only understand which only computer understands okay so when you speak something your computer converts it into something which the computer understands and then computer decodes it and then again converts it back to the language you want so this is what a encoder decoder architecture is you encode it and then you decode it while doing this the machine understand what the problem is about what is the question that i'm writing it about and while doing this the model only understands that what i'm speaking about and since it sees multiple multiple uh sentences and languages and questions and answer it gets richer and richer and it gets it improves that's why multiple lakhs and lakhs and like crores of crores and millions and billions of you know rows of data were used to train chat gpt so this is what that encoder architecture is encoder decoder architecture also known as transformer okay so gpt if if you hear any time that chat gpt is based on transformer architecture this is the architecture that you will be you know uh, you know thinking about uh, this is the architecture that should be coming to your mind 
next thing on a simple way i will give you some detail about how chat gpt was working like in a simplified manner very simple manner so while training this open ai basically open ai hired 40 to 50 people who used to label the data set what do i mean by label is suppose if i write i want to uh, become a pilot okay this is my this is my uh, prompt okay this is what a prompt is known as like whatever you write to chat gpt is known as prompt you give a prompt to that user the the people who have been hired by uh, open ai they labeled it to certain answers okay this is how you become a pilot so there are many types of answer answer a answer b answer like that so labelers were responsible for creating multiple answers like this okay so each labelers were creating around 200 different types of answers with different active passive words and different way and uh, this was step 1 then step two was uh, basically, you know, ranking this uh, answers according to the question perfectly, which is a better answer, which is a better answer to this question. This is what step two is all about. Step two is all about ranking uh, uh, according to the answer that I've given more, how, how well that answer was framed. So step two was about that. Okay. So first step was a labeler will actually annotate these answers to the questions or the prompts. Okay. And this is used to fine tune your chat GPT, uh, your GPT 3.3 uh, to make it GPT 3.5. Okay. And then, yeah, then another, another model is there, which will actually, you know, uh, rank these things, these answers, okay. Which is responsible for ranking these and put the best, most relevant answer. Okay. G, uh, the uh, step three will be when the last part will be when you are searching for thing and you get an answer. And that answer is more suppose relevant. So you want to improve your model. That's why when you are searching on GPT and you get an answer, okay. And you are happy with that answer. Uh, this happy, this feedback, this feedback is used. This is something known as your feedback mechanism. Feedback mechanism is used to update this, that this is a most relevant answer. This is a more relevant answer than the previous answers. Okay. So that is why chat GPT is over the time improving. Okay, so chat GPT was initially trained with a labeler annotating, annotating few answers, then ranking those answers, and then also taking answers from users and improving the entire model, which was trained before. This is the third thing. And this is ongoing process. This is continuously happening on a daily basis. You are giving more input. Chat GPT is improving. It will improve more over the time. Okay. So this is what your chat GPT on a layman's term. This is how your working happen in a chat GPT. Okay. And this last thing, which I told you about improving is known as feedback mechanism. And it also uses something known as a reward model. Okay. Reward model is if it is able to give this, the current most correct answer, it is rewarded. Suppose you are asking a kid to go from point A to point B. If you, if he reaches the point A to point B, the faster he reaches the, he gets a gift. Okay. The more quicker he reaches, he get a better gift. So he will try his uh, you know, uh, he will try his way to reach it faster. Okay. He'll try multiple ways to reach faster. Right. So same thing model also works in different, same way. It, it actually wants that re reward to maximize, maximize its reward. So it goes, tries to rank in the best way to reach to the ideal answer. So this is the ultimate, you know, goal, uh, you know, learning and working of chat GPT, uh, that happens, uh, in a layman in layman's term. So now comes to, uh, the, you know, uh, the capabilities, like if you are giving explain, uh, quantum computing in simple terms, uh, remembers what the user said in earlier. So if you are doing, if you're doing certain thing with chat GPT, it will remember the previous, uh, you know, uh, things that you have given. Okay. But it can occasionally generate incorrect information. So that is a drawback of chat GPT. So you cannot entirely rely on chat GPT. Okay. So you, you certain times, there are few limitations with the chat GPT will give you. So you have to also read that information. You cannot blindly, you just have to read those information. And, uh, next thing is, uh, it can produce certain harmful instruction as well. If you are trying to, you know, create something and it can produce and some biased content as well. Okay. And the knowledge is limited to 2021 only. Okay. Your GPT 3.5, the knowledge if, uh, is limited to 2021. Okay. So anything latest after that, anything has happened, it will not be able to do. Okay. So 
the next thing is you can give a follow up correction suppose you have asked chat gpt to produced uh, something known as how to make a cake uh, it will produce now uh, it will give you some uh, answer so you can make it like can you make it more uh, can you make a eggless recipe of the same cake that you have made so it will get, it will take this follow up correction follow up instruction and it will produce a follow up uh, answer to this a follow up uh, answer to whatever you have asked okay so uh, it can you know uh, it can it is trained to decline inappropriate request also if you uh, if you ask harmful request it will not do okay so that those are the very good things about chat gpt as well so there are policies and there are ethical things that have been kept in mind while designing this <clears throat> next comes uh, if you uh, look at what chat gpt what it actually does like we have seen language generation it can generate languages it can generate new sequences okay languages are sequences only when i'm speaking it's a sequence of words okay it can generate uh, languages it can answer question it can it can do completion of text it can do language translation and summarization also if you give it an entire movie review okay it can actually translate for you and it, it can actually summarize for you and uh, it can give you the key highlights of those movie as well okay and these are on a very bottom level this is how what chat gpt does like what are the basic thing which chat gpt does now using these things we can apply it on a daily basis in our jobs as well okay uh using these things only so these are the main construction uh, constructive work which chat gpt does next comes the advantages so first of all since chat gpt is trained on a huge huge quality of generated text okay uh, a huge quality of language uh, text it is it the quality of the text that it generates is very rich it is act as equivalent to a human even better english and grammar than humans okay it is very cost effective it has a large vocabulary because i told it is trained on the entire internet okay and it is very quick it can generate answers within seconds and sometime max to max within a minute or two and it is very easy to use anybody can take it anybody who doesn't know computer tech anything like in nothing related to tech you can also use it so it is very flexible and it's very easy to use it's uh, very comprehensive and you can do a lot of lot of things due to all these flexibility and uh, which chat gpt provides that's why it became so popular because before this also there were many tools which didn't become so popular but chat gpt be became because commercially it has become very exposed so <clears throat> so uh you can build various application uh, like test completion application like grammarly okay grammarly is uh, now using chat gpt uh, you can easily make these application you can do image generation also uh, and uh, you can uh, do you can mix chat gpt with dolly and create a lot of images and video generator if you can create images you can create videos also uh, videos are nothing but images uh, multiple images in one second okay and uh, you can create embeddings like i told you since chat gpt is trained on a huge corpus of text the embeddings that it can create uh, the the language which the machine understands is very rich okay it can do code completion like if you are not able to code it is for more for technical uh, technical perspective if a person is not able to complete his code it can, it can take help from chat gpt i have taken help in my, on a daily basis uh, and even students can sometime take help okay when they're not able to complete something and they are doing something for a project okay and fine tuning uh, you can train your model for your own use case i told this already i covered this initially next comes how chat gpt will improve the efficiency in various jobs okay so these are the things where chat gpt will improve your efficiency if you look at data entry uh, clerks speed and accuracy of data entry will improve previously if you are able to do 100 uh, entries in a day now you can do 130 140 150 entries probably more than that even 200 also even customer service represented the communication and the empathy can improve if you take actual scripts from chat gpt they can only give you instead of taking reg regular help from a team lead or a quality manager leads okay it can uh, actually do a lot of proof reading attention to detail while reading contracts contract document it can do a lot of attention to detail as well so like that chat gpt can improve a lot like planning and coordination making a itinerary for a trip for a travel okay it can give you knowledge and teaching 
uh, advice while preparing a course curriculum so you can uh, actually create content for your uh, course that you are making okay and uh, it can do email marketing it can create very good email which can actually target nice way which can provoke a person to open its email because cold emailing and email marketing some people say that it is a declining market but uh, improving the way a cold emailing is written uh, cold email is written so that the person is uh, asked to you know forced enough to open that mail is what uh, chat gpt can help you with it can create very good you know a hook for creating an opening and cold email okay content moderation critical thinking and scripts it can give you it can give you judgment it can give you interviewing and assessment experience to recruiters as well like if even even sir, think about a student preparing for a job it can it can you can search for the job description you can take the entire job description of a job and just search on chat gpt and just ask can you give me the most highlighted uh, skills that is required in this job okay it it will give you the most highlighted part so these are the many many things where chat gpt can help market research analyst can get a lot of analytical skills improved with the help of chat gpt so yeah so <clears throat> if you can give a report uh, entire report a pdf uh, containing a report a, a market report you can give it and you can uh, it's a report about an industry you can give chat gpt and just ask it just you know create the bullet points of all the important part of this report it will do it so that is how chat gpt improves your efficiency and that is how we will learn how to use it so if you look at at the various field chat gpt how chat gpt can help uh, so in banking you can it can help with fraud detection uh, okay so in fraud detection like uh, chat gpt can look at uh, fraud detection it can look at transaction and it can tell uh, whether a certain uh, you know transaction looking like a fraud or not uh, it can read legal documents uh, it can like people lawyers and you know uh, uh, legal uh, associates basically spend a lot of time while preparing a case you can give it to chat gpt and it can do it in few seconds and you know take out case statements and it can uh, take out case numbers and what was the final uh, verdict of that case and all those things from multiple cases on thousands and thousands of cases so legal contracts uh, can problems can be easily solved by chat gpt you can give personal advice request to chat gpt according to your goals and chat gpt can create it and customer service uh, it can help uh, customer like a lot of customer service required a lot of so there are traditional chatbots in banks right which can only process few requests but in a chat gpt if it is designed using chat gpt it can understand a way more things if you can fine tune it and uh, customer onboarding there are a few it can fill customer onboarding forms help a customer understand with the compliances and all those things so that's what it's uses in banking and many more as well in marketing like uh, many people uh, do keyword analysis okay to understand the market target market and how how uh, to improve their search engine as well search engine optimization search engine marketing okay and that is where keyword analysis comes uh, important uh, which uh, under which uh, keyword you are being searched more in order to understand those things strat gpt can help you copywriting copywriting is again something like cold emailing where uh you provoke your user to buy it makes compelling it it makes a user compelled enough to buy something so copywriting and cold emailing is uh, are both kind of similar thing where chat gpt can play an equal you know great part in making a user compelled enough to open uh, or read or read or help it to sell with <clears throat> customer feedback is uh, something like which the customer gives and if you want to get the top feedback so suppose you have collected thousands and thousands of customer feedback and i want to get only the top feedbacks okay or top positive feedback and top negative feedbacks and that's what uh, cat uh, your customer feedback you know chat gpt can help you you know shorten the whole process not rely on people who will just read that entire article entire feedbacks and give you the top because that could be anecdotal as well you can at least you know our brain has a tendency of catching only the uh, very good reviews and uh, so that is where uh, you know chat gpt can give you a non biased uh, you know reply or feedback uh, analysis and content creation is the best thing which current days content creators like uh, on instagram and on the various people on instagram and facebook where they are creating content about certain uh, product or certain thing they use it 
so uh, influencer and all those people anyways use it for content creation so <clears throat> these are the things for uh, we can you know use chat gpt uh, chat gpt for next comes is healthcare in healthcare like medical transcription uh, is what we can use we can uh, we can take medical transcription and we can you know uh, take uh, do analysis on those medical transcription we get we can do something known as patent triaging okay uh, there is there are patents there are patents reports okay and these patent reports are read by some a proofreader or somebody uh, in the industry so so you can use chat gpt to get the top things again and uh, you know search for things if these things are present or not if the side effects are present or not if the if the good things are present or not if if certain compounds are present or not you can do all those things so uh, again patient patient facing assistants can uh, can also help using chat gpt they can you know actually if it is trained for your need it can actually help get information which the already a uh, patient is searching for and it can give you information about medicine certain reports certain operation or certain uh, surgery if the person wants to go through and if they have some and they every time for everything they do not need to go to a doctor or some uh, some middleman uh, in between doctor and a patient facing assistant summarization of patient records like you 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 are a hospital which collects a lot of lot of patients records and you want to summarize them and you want to get analysis of last quarter what are the records and that is where summarization uh, comes into help and medical researchers also where again any sort of research chat gpt can help you with those analysis it is again like your keyword research keyword analysis next comes is uh, you know uh, virtual tutoring you can use chat gpt for create content for virtual tutoring okay for tutors and uh, uh, to a certain extent chat gpt can create content and uh, you know uh, reduce your work in developing contents it can also handle queries many people uh, creates unnecessary query and they they raise tickets okay so we do not want this ticket to be uh, to be gone to per, uh, another you know uh, support person and taking you know minutes and you know taking hours to solve that chat gpt can actually solve a lot of uh, queries which are kind of trivial which kind be could be trivial not required by another you know uh, support p person to solve it course registration in course registration instead of a person a chat gpt can actually solve course registration work it can actually take inputs kyc informations uh, from people and registered people for courses and clear people's doubts as well and engage them also so and summarizing essays and articles is one of the best uses of chat gpt which students already uses it, uses it next thing is the hr part where again if you are getting in unnecessary tickets so i have uh, you know uh, two three years back when i was uh, joining one of my organization i used to take unnecessary tickets for unnecessary things regarding regarding payroll regarding holidays leaves and all these things chat gpt can automate all these tasks okay and uh, that way improves the efficiency and people who are on the other end who are actually on the client end and who wants to get this query resolved they are also happy at the end of the day it can help to screen candidates like uh, you have a job description and you have got thousands and thousands of resumes you can give all the resumes uh, and you can screen them like uh, you can actually count like what is the percentage of uh, what is the percentage of relevancy of this candidate with the job description that we have you can do these things you have you have given first the job description to chat gpt and you have asked this is my job description now i am giving a candidate resume or cv and please give the relevancy score for this candidate in in while while i am screening this candidate okay onboarding training again uh, for onboarding there are trainings given uh, there are orientation session given a lot of these things uh, requires uh, a lot of you know compliance reading and compl uh, issues about compliance terms and conditions and all these things these can be all automated by chat gpt you can just the person chat gpt if chat you can just ask train chat gpt to your needs and you can give that to those person who are being hired and you can give them the training okay and you can do performance management as well okay depending upon a per person filling up his appraisal uh, you know review and you can give this to uh, to chat gpt and just ask that what is the top points and key points and how much he is according to the goals how much he has been able to fulfill the goals according to the points that he has written 
okay so uh, so that those are uh, the major major things uh, applications of chat gpt on our regular indus industries so prompts to communicate with chat gpt uh, are basically these type of prompts uh, which are information seeking if you want certain kind of information uh, if you want to improvise certain thing okay if you have written something you can ask chat gpt to improve this thing you can create content uh, cont uh, you can create content depending upon improvisation and next comes is context based prompts so context based prompts or role based prompts are something role based prompts is something where you want to create a script okay script for your content that you want to create context based prompts are something like you 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 have to give a context suppose if you are somebody who is a marketing uh, agent and you want to sell something on facebook you can actually write these are my people okay that are there on facebook they are mostly it professionals or they are our banking professionals or they are uh, they are mostly marketing professionals and i want to create a engaging uh story or content and please uh, create uh, along with the target market also give me the target market and create most provoking type of uh you know uh, copyrighted descriptions so this is what context based promotion you give a context you first train your chat gpt uh, with giving a context about it and uh, and wait for chat gpt to give answer next comes is reflective prompts when you want opinions from chat gpt suppose you are a person who wants to lose weight and you want to take reflective prompts and that is what opinion seeking prompts and you want to take reflective answers from chat gpt okay so these are the things i have applied it's not you're not able to lose weight what to do okay or these are the things i have applied in my marketing campaign i'm not getting the best answer what to do okay but obviously you have to give a lot of context then only always it will give you generic answers so <clears throat> next comes is how to design these prompts this is where guys your usage will come okay how how you will uh, do the, this is where people fail because chat gpt people just go and ask like what i want to create a company uh what what are my steps if you ask question like this you will get answer which everybody gets okay and chat gpt probably gives millions and millions of people answer are questioning these kind of questions and they are getting answers on a similar pattern if you give a question like i am a ted okay i have uh i have tried already these 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 things and i want to create a drop shipping uh business and uh and uh in in my drop shipping business uh, the this is my product i am going to source it from here and i am going to place it here uh, this is my product placement area and uh, these are my target market this is my budget create the best marketing funnel for my drop shipping product what are the top, uh, social media platform that i can use and in which platform what are the uh, scripts that i can use if you give such a comprehensive context it will understand your problem and it will try to solve like the context that you have given first you have to train your chat gpt that this is you like i am anirban i am a data scientist i want to improve myself i already have five years of experience i have this much this much whatever things i have done next what is the things i will be able to do so that i can crack this kind of job and i give the entire job description also then you can see the best usage of chat gpt so speak to chat gpt as you are speaking to a human doctor okay don't speak to somebody on a daily basis as if you are if somebody you are asking somebody for a solution you are actually asking your doctor you have to give every symptoms and everything to chat gpt in order to get the best answer okay so train for your domain first that's what are your, your first task is train for your domain for your knowledge you have to give the knowledge domain first to your chat gpt by giving all the relevant data then you ask the question and don't ask a generic question this is how you write chat gpt prompts these are the basic way of writing so if you look at the chat gpt prompt formula see this is what context task instruction clarify okay and then you can do refine okay first is ignore the previous prompts in this conversation you are an experienced content writer you are asking chat gpt by giving it a role that you are a content writer with high levels of expertise and authority in tech industry your job is to write content that will be published online on websites social media email, email new, newsletters and in advertisements your writing skill is informative friendly engaging while incorporating humor and real life examples i will provide you with topic or series of topics you will come up with an engaging article outline for this topic do you understand you are clarifying this 
you are speaking to a person as if you are saying to a kid and asking it to do a task okay from 0 to 100 everything not just one question can you can you just solve this okay see such a comprehensive context has to be written in order to get the best now chat gpt will generate something now you can rewrite using more natural expressive language and include some example to accompany this information you can also tell your tone first that this is my tone this is how i write an essay and can you write the same thing in this format okay so in this tone in this emotion so these are the things so these are the few prompts examples so if you if you want to simplify complex notions okay this is how you write a prompt hey chat gpt i want to learn about blockchain explain blockchain technology in simple terms explain it to me like i am 11 years old this is how you write chat gpt if you want to learn in simplified way just write this is don't write explain blockchain in simple way give a comp uh, give a content give a context about it and expect the good content to come out of it okay so simple terms could be anything a person who is 11 years old will require more simpler terms than a person who is not 11 years old but he is a tech he is not from a tech background but he has done some form of graduation so simple is very generic if you make it i'm 11 years old and uh, then it becomes very very com uh, comprehensive and it becomes very strong while explaining these prompts next is a prompt to generate the perfect marketing plan i want you to act as an advisor you will create a campaign to promote a product or a service of your choice you will choose a target audience develop key messages slogans select the media channels for promotion and decide uh, on any additional activities needed to reach your goals my first suggestion request is i need help creating an advertisement campaign for a new course that teaches people about the best prompts to use for chat gpt okay and chat gpt will start creating target audience your, your key messages and slogans media channels for promotion it will give you tiktok instagram and all those things any social media it has seen before 2021 next come is a job uh, job interview simulation okay simulate a job interview for a reporter at euronews context i am looking for this job and you are an interviewer you will ask me appropriate question as if uh, you we were in an interview i will respond only ask the following question once i have responded so this is how you create a interview simulation many people what they do is they give the entire job description and they even ask that you are a job interviewer ask me question according to this job the job description that i have given it to you and that way you can prepare yourself and see chat gpt is just continuously answering this is how you best use guys like this is what how uh, best uses of chat gpt write write about uh you know using ai to make money as the above author would write above author means you have already given a context I've already given a context you have written an entire essay so chat gpt understand your tone your way of english your way of flexibility and then chat gpt you know starts uh, writing like you so these are the best best way of using chat gpt i hope guys this is how you create like you get an understanding <clears throat> so yes somebody is saying the secret is giving it good and professional uh prompts for excellence and unique answer yes and you have to improve this uh you know uh, prompts with time and you can even ask chat gpt to improve your prompt okay you can even ask chat gpt to improve your prompt yes i think so it will be uh shared okay so yeah guys so with that we will uh you know uh, end now i will open the forum for q a uh you know uh, q a guys thank you everyone uh, i hope guys you get an idea about how chat gpt how to write queries like i think your way of writing queries and prompts to chat gpt will improve now right uh, and even we can take some questions like if you can see q a board there are a few questions yeah yeah so okay the question is from Abdel Jalil, okay. So he's asking how much chat GPT has changed businesses. What changed until now and what economic impact reached? 
so economic impact as in reached i will tell you uh, one of the usage so of chat gpt is i had a uh, entire uh, my there was a the, i i used to work in a project and i'll give you a very good example over there there were 400 people who used to do uh, data entry jobs okay and they used to process i think around uh, 2000 uh, forms in a day 2 or 2000 insurance forms in a day and now with chat gpt apparently they are able to do around 3000 or 5 5000 forms in a day to to the level that they are able to use uh, chat gpt so uh, i have seen that uh, the are uh, they are able to process more and improves the efficiency uh, with the help of chat gpt so in terms of business yeah definitely the company the client is more impressed uh, with that and uh, they are able to process more and uh, on a small scale level i know many people uh, many uh, online marketers and many high ticket coaches and high ticket marketers uh, they actually create very good uh, marketing funnel uh, like you know engaging content using chat gpt they uh, they write they uh, they write compelling content and uh, which helps them to create a lot of better contents and actually provokes a lot of user uh, to you know uh, create content around chat gpt uh, with chat gpt with the help of chat gpt and they are able to uh, get better people and they are able to reach the right people and uh, so basically chat gpt can help you with psychology based marketing neuro marketing that's what i'm saying if you give it the right context if you help chat gpt understand what your market needs okay so suppose i'll give you there are many people who creates offers okay around their product like if you if you don't uh, suppose they have a product and they come to the market like if you do not get result with this product i will do it for free till the time you get your result okay so this is your offer suppose you want to make it in the market so that people buy it from you you can ask chat gpt to improve this offer okay it make it more compelling where that people then will be more engaged with your offers and they will come for you and they will they can improve the offer like they can make it like uh if if you if you do not double your uh profit within two months then i will come and work for free maybe chat gpt will give you improvement like this okay so <clears throat> next question yeah so next question is all about what about plagiarism Huh. plagiarism you can actually uh there you can mix chat gpt with other tools as well uh like for my example i know something known as uh conch ai okay which uh, you can create it something from chat gpt you can give it to conch ai and ask it to check whether uh, it can actually uh it it is said that uses it uses chat gpt under itself only to improve plagiarism like it actually moves everything from the internet and it will change the statement in such a way that it will not be plagiarized and chat gpt actually doesn't create plagiarized content okay it creates things from itself only okay okay thank you for this answer so another question is how important is chat gpt to scale up e-commerce business for a beginner this is a question huh. from bright very very uh very uh you know important thing like chat gpt like i told you if you give it a proper uh, like we saw a prompt over here right uh where you are a marketer okay now if you give the similar prompt in your case for uh, for e-commerce it can create uh, it can create you know marketing plan, uh, plans for you like i want you to act as a e-commerce marketer you will create a campaigning uh, campaign to promote a product or a service for your choice so you can change the same thing for a marketer and you can create uh you know e-commerce uh, related like if you do want to do anything from shopify uh, using shopify or drop shipping or anything uh chat gpt will give you the right channel uh right methods how to create the strategies and if you give it the strategy that you have already implemented it will improve your strategy as well okay so yeah so that is one of the best usage of chat gpt that i have seen uh on on a regular basis over uh, from these uh, drop shipping uh, people okay so thank you for the answer so another question is from daniel so he's asking how has chat gpt helped developers in creating of softwares and websites ha huh, okay so uh, so i myself is a developer so on a daily basis i use chat gpt uh, 5% to 10% of the time i use if i don't know anything uh, if i do certain a certain thing i don't know at all Okay. Suppose I am a data scientist. I haven't done much about uh, much on the full stack side. Okay. Full stack development, software development side. Okay. Uh, so if I want to ask ChatGPT to create a basic 
uh, cha uh, chatbot app where I will click a button and chatbot will open. Okay, this chat GPT will give this in seconds instead of me searching. Now I don't search for small errors. Okay, not errors, errors as in uh, like small uh, type of use cases. I don't search over the internet. I do it on chat GPT and I get the answer. Uh, so yeah, for developers, uh, it is uh, like I personally have used it. So I know the benefit. It's a lot. Okay. Uh, one interesting question we have from <clears throat> Norm Pomelo. How safe is chat GPT in safe keeping your data? Is it secure enough that it can't be duplicated? Uh, the question can be more specific. Like I didn't get like, uh, like I got your duplicate, but, uh, duplicate as in what, like if you can write the question again, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I can hear you. Okay. So the question is how safe is chat GPT in safe keeping your data? Is it secure enough that it can't be duplicated? Uh, so first of all, suppose if you are taking chat GPT and, uh, taking the, like you can, if you are pre-training it and you can use it as a model in your local system, uh, then yeah, chat GPT is uh, very, very safe because uh, it has nothing. It will not you know, do anything, it will not duplicate. But if you are, uh, if you are using, uh, something around like, uh, something very proprietary data, uh, that way proprietary data, uh, at this moment, if you are using a generic version of chat GPT, like chat GPT on chat GPT's website, then it will not be safe. So it is better to take that and use it on your local system and, uh, uh, use it for your model. So then it can be more safe, but otherwise, uh, if you use the way everybody uses, then proprietary data is not to be used. You cannot use keywords or something, passwords and all those things. You are giving a generic, you are giving a generic, uh, prompt request. Okay. So that has nothing to do with safety. So that anyways, people will, other people will not be, it will give another, it will never give you information like a person from Oracle has given this, this information. So this is what Oracle uses. Okay. So it will never give like that. So if you talk about safety, yeah, like it is very well conceived. Uh, but yeah, chat GPT is getting all your information that you are already giving it as a prompt. But uh, it cannot rely on that information because a person, most of the people are using chat GPT uh, just for fun. Uh, so it cannot rely on that information. I can tomorrow, I can go and say that I work in Facebook and create me a good uh, uh, marketing plan because see two months, two days back, I, I wrote, I work in Oracle. Okay. So it cannot rely on a particular information that it will give it to somebody else or some other organization will be able to use it. But yeah, definitely it is there in chat GPT's, uh, entire website, no entire domain, uh, space. Okay. Thank you for the answer. So next question is chat GPT can give us video tutorial. Uh, it can, it can create video scripts for you and you can make a tutorial out of it. And, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't give you sources. It doesn't give you sources. Like you cannot search, like, uh, can you give me the, uh, source for this, this video? It when uh, chat GPT doesn't give you sources, it, it doesn't give you links and sources to other, uh, things. Okay. Yes. Okay. Somebody also asked, like, can anyone without coding skills, you can use chat. Yeah. 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 You can use, you do not need chat GPT uh, coding skills at all. Okay. Uh, see, uh, if you see the number of users that the chat GPT users, uh, has, uh, most of them doesn't know coding. Okay. So 90, uh, almost, you know, 70 to 80% users are normal people like this and okay. And they are using it. Okay. Okay. So another interesting question is that, um, mm, can chat GPT provide me a business proposal? Yes. Business proposal. Yes, definitely. If it, if it can make you, uh, create campaign like this, it can give you a business proposal. Also, you have to explain your business first and then chat GPT, you know, uh, can create business proposal for you. And obviously you have to give your context, what you want and what are the proposal will comprise of. 
for the plans and all those things and uh, packages and everything it can create a very good well formatted uh, documentation of that proposal with proper uh, you know uh, body and subject and all those things so very good pro proposal it can create okay that's great so another thing another question is that how chat gpt can help novel writers uh okay uh so see suppose uh if you think it like a uh, probably a writer will know this in a better way in terms of thinking okay so people spend i have seen a novel writer spend a lot of time in experiencing a certain kind of culture they go to a place they live there they experience that culture and uh and you know they try to they try to create story around that because uh, uh as a writer i have seen hardly any writer who just sits in india and write stories about Myanmar or uh, Russia or maybe, you know, uh, in some of the city in Dagestan of Russia, probably. Okay. So they have to go there, experience the life over there. Then only they can talk and talk about their food, their lifestyle, their timings when they go to sleep and what time they uh, wrap up their shop and everything. So if a writer has to write those things, it can actually ask chat GPT and they tell that you are a writer who went into chat G you you went to Dagestan you are writing a story about Dagestan and you are living over there can you write the lifestyle of Dagestan people and uh, what they do when this so these kind of information you can actually get from chat GPT and uh, over there like it can actually imitate a person who went to Dagestan and get and chat since chat GPT has learned if this information is there on the internet it can create information and culture understanding of Dagestan and it can do it can help you in that way Okay, thank you everyone for this question. Uh, another question is that, uh, just a moment. Because there, there are a lot of, you know, like repeated questions. So, okay, so another question is, so the questions that we ask to chat GPT, do these questions are stored? Or if we upload any document, okay, so, to get some answer from those documents. So these documents are stored in some kind of repository with uh, uh, this chat GPT. Uh, they say it's not stored, but the uh, the document is not stored, they say. But uh, I feel since the information has already been used, uh, it is just like I told uh, two minutes back that if you uh, give the information, it is already storing that information, okay? So the information from the document might be stored. Okay, uh, that might be stored, but again, this information is generic amongst the billions and billions of information. So it will never be able to use it because it goes into a dump where from where it took another information. It is just used for training. Uh, they do not fetch it out or anybody like they cannot they cannot verify it. Suppose like what will that information come from? Like uh, if a person suppose works in a uh, you know uh, see first of all many companies many companies you ask. Uh, their employees not to use uh, chat GPT with proprietary information. So never use proprietary information like keywords and, you know, uh, IDs, ID numbers, and, you know, all those IP addresses and all those things. Use information which are not proprietary, like, uh, you know, uh, like I am this, this person, how can you make this, this, this for me with perfect, uh, perfect, I want this, 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 like these things. You're not using particular uh, anything, uh, any keywords or anything. So that is kind of, uh, that could have a detrimental effect for uh, from the company side as well. So do not use uh, information which are proprietary to your info, uh, company. Okay, thank you for this answer. Yeah, actually a lot of question is related to, you know, like literature, um, generation okay maybe like uh, there are a lot of people who are doing research kind of work okay so they need to do some kind of literature review someone is working on some kind of ebook drafting so obviously they need a lot of resources to you know like analyze those content and to write their own content okay so basically a lot of question is there from academic end or you can say it's not an academic it's an content related okay so um, how you know like uh, literature processing or literature review can be done through this chat gpt is, is there any prompt specific prompt that they can use uh see uh so suppose uh like see first of all you can give the entire uh, you can take suppose you have a uh, multiple papers okay you give the paper first paper you just copy the entire paper give it to chat gpt 
and like that you give multiple papers and you say this is paper one this is paper two this is paper three like that you give paper one these are the information paper two this is the information paper three this is the information and then you ask chat gpt to give whatever analysis you want like can you create a uh, summarization of all the top information from paper one paper two paper three with uh play people names and what what are the people uh where the people went suppose i am giving things which i am i, I can understand from papers uh but uh, what other research is talking about uh this people uh, paper like i have given multiple like when i am developing like uh since i am into uh, artificial intelligence so i am developing papers so when i take papers i actually give it to chat gpt and ask it like what is this paper talking about sometime i i am given only one hour by my uh boss to you know read a paper and come up with something okay some you know what you have read uh, key pointers Okay, I give it to chat GPT and chat GPT does it for five within five minutes, like, you know, what is this paper comprises of and give all the key pointers. So if, uh, if it can do some, like, you can just write, like, uh, can you give all the key pointers from this paper? Okay. And it will give you all the key pointers of that paper. You can write other things also, whatever you require. What, what I'm saying is, is, is there anything what you can see and do, you can see and do from that chat GPT can also do that. Okay, great. And we have another question, very interesting question. Like, um, can I integrate with some other system, maybe internal system to this chat yes. GPT? Yes, you can do it. Yeah. So I think uh, this question is from kind of technical background person. He wants to like, he wants to make this chat GPT as an, you know, chat bot. He wants to use this in his, his chat box and he want to like, answer like a specific question out of his personal content. So is it possible to integrate that? Uh, chat gpt into his uh, chatbot uh, machine learning model yeah 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 you can do it you can you can uh, uh, then this the kind of uh, things that we have shown here uh, you need little more than that like this this is like when you are directly interacting with chat gpt and you are asking it to review okay uh, but in that case you you can take the chat gpt you can internally you can uh, fine tune it for your question answers Okay, there are a lot, there are a lot of papers and a lot of application uh, in order to use chat GPT fine tuning. That is what fine tuning is all about. You can retrain it for your uh, information for your need. Okay, uh, great. So another question is like, uh, okay, chat GPT is associated with cyber security risk such as malware detection, data leakage, privacy and confidentiality issue. How do we ourselves protect against them? Uh, uh like what uh like the question is not that yeah okay so the question is from edwin okay so saying that chat gpt is associated with cyber security risk okay and such as malware infections data leakage privacy this kind of issues so how do we ourselves protect against them uh see as long as see chat gpt is something which uh runs on the browser and you are just just a website uh, so chat GPT itself, open AI itself is very secured first of all. Okay. And, uh, open AI, like nothing ch like chat GPT itself doesn't have any malware, uh, issues with itself that if you use it, it can attack your system or anything against that. But yeah, like I told about the proprietary information, if you're uploading anything to chat GPT, it is chat GPTs. Okay. And chat GPT can do whatever it wants. Okay. That is why will not recommend to upload proprietary information. Okay. But chat GPT won't be able to attack or anything when you are using it. Okay. Because open AI itself is very safe and, uh, and it is obviously there are a lot of ethical norms that has been followed, uh, but, uh, and definitely like with, with time, there are a lot of, uh, it is, it is expected that a lot of limitation will be there on AI development. Okay, AI will not be allowed to do a certain kind of thing or else it will be problematic for us in future. So definitely it is very much ethically governed. That is why if you just go and search for things that you do not harmful things on chat GPT, uh, if you want to create something, develop something, uh, it will not give you answers and uh, it will tell that it is against his ethical practice and policies. Okay, that's really great. And so I think we have answered all the questions, okay, in the chat section. So we will take few learn, uh, sorry, a few attendees, okay, live. So I'm taking uh, Rajat. Hello, Rajat. You can ask your question. 
Rajat, you can unmute yourself and you can ask your question. Okay, let's move to Uba. Okay, Uba, you can ask your question if you're there. Hi, Uba. Hi. Hey, hi, Uba. You can ask your question. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, you can ask your question, Uba. Please, how can I access chat GBT? Like, how can I access it? Is it like an app that you can download? And uh, is it accessible on App Store? If it's okay. an app. No, it's it's just a website, okay? And I have shared the link, okay, in the chat section. You can see the chat section. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, like when you come here, it starts, you know, uh, it starts, you know, uh, things like this. Okay, like uh, the app, the interface looks like this. Oba. Okay, and you can type your prompts, you can write your prompts like this over here, like, uh, you know, uh, like this. I am uh, 10 years old. Explain me chat GPT in simple terms so that I can explain it to uh seven years old okay and you know it will start writing c chat gpt starts writing <clears throat> okay and this is how you basically do it I have provided the link in webinar chat section, so you can access the link. It's chat.openai.com. If you just search on Google chat GPT, you will easily find the link. Okay, chat.openai.com. Okay, so let's take another question. Rajat, if you're there, you can ask your question. Hi, Rajat. Rajat, you can ask your question. Okay, let's move to Osini. Osini, you can ask your question. Okay, so I heard of this chat GTP and I want to know how does it work for con content creating? Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so the thing is, I've uh, gone through what you said. So I want to know how does it work for content creating? How does it work for content creating? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? I said, how does chat GTP work for content creating? So okay. since you mentioned, yes, content creating earlier, so how does it work for content creating? That's what I want to know. Okay, and even can you demonstrate us that how we can generate content, maybe like uh, C's work into content generation field or domain, so you can generate a small content for her. Yeah, can you tell me your topic, like what content you and what topic you want to create content? Um, would you, most people, you know, shorts, comedy, skits, and so. Comedy, comedy, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can write like this. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Did you get it? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Yeah, like this, if you just write, Hi, ChatGPT, you are a content creator mm -hmm. who creates a comedy skits. You can write a comedy skits for two minutes, which will, uh, which you will make it for Instagram. Okay. So okay. it will start writing. Okay. Now, if you suppose, uh, if you are, if you're not, uh, if you, uh, like, if you want to improvise it, okay, then you can just, you know, just wait. It will, it once it completes, you can just start writing it, you know, uh, make it more funny uh, okay. and uh, relevant for uh, like wherever country, whichever country you stay, relevant okay. for people like uh, living, uh, living in London, suppose. This is how you refine it, okay? So, uh, so after this completes, uh, like see, this is creating a script, you get it? Yeah, I get it. Very, thank you very much. I get. Thank you. Yes. Now, see, I have written a follow-up question. Now it will start uh, improvising this thing. Okay. It will improve. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. Okay. So thank you. Let's take another uh, attendees. Jack Mart. Jack Mart, you can ask your question. Hi, Jack Mart. Are you there? Okay. Romeo, you can ask your question. Hi. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. My question is, what are some of the uh, ethical issues related to chat GPT? Yeah, so see the ethical issues with related to chat GPT is like I told you again, proprietary information you shouldn't upload. Like I cannot go and upload my Oracle ID is, uh, you know, ID is there, something like this, 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 and you know, and my password is this and my, these things you shouldn't upload. But if you're right, if you're asking it to create content, like, you know, can you create, uh, can you create a chatbot, uh, cha a chatbot for me, uh, which I will use. It doesn't know. It doesn't know my context, whether I work, wherever it is, I'm, it is going to be applied. So if you create your information, which is not proprietary, which is generic, uh, to your corporation or to your organization, then it is not a problem. And ethical issues is mostly mentioned by your organization. Your organization will mention what are the ethical issues that for which you want, you can use chat GPT or not. So there are in from my organization, I cannot use chat GPT for internal systems. But if I want to take any answers, like I can use it as a search engine, like just like the way I use Google. Okay, so ethical things are conveyed by your organization, not chat GPT is just another application. It's just another application which is used commercially worldwide and it's very popular that uh, the uh, ethical is governed by the organization where you work. I hope your question is answered, Romeo. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so Sammy. You can ask your question. Yeah, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, Sammy. Yeah, good. I've been using chat GPT for some time now. Uh, my worry is um, the version I use is a free version. I don't know whether the the four the chat GPT four comes with improved. Uh, uh response as to i'm using it for my phd work and then i most of the time you don't get the references uh when you ask for and some of the responses are way 
not what you you expect. Let me put it bluntly, it's wrong. I, I don't know if the uh, if he has used the uh, four and that counts because I don't want to buy it and it, it, it's if it's the same, I won't get what I need from it. That is why I want to ask uh, if uh, that is true. Uh, the four, the version that Jack GPT-4 is better. Uh, secondly, I don't know, since it's an Athena platform, I don't know if Athena uh, has any policy on the chat GPT, the use of it for work. Those okay. are the same two best. I could yeah, I, 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 okay, so let me uh, like uh, rephrase this question, Anirban. So his hmm. question is, he's performing like some kind of research work over here, okay. And you know, like the new chat GPT is there, GPT-4, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, his question is like, uh, when he wants to you know, like uh, get some answers out of some uh, research work, okay, like uh, whatever the literature is there in the market, okay. So he wanted to fetch some information from that research domain. So that the answers that is reflected back by the chat GPT is not perfect as per the research, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why he, as you know, like the chat GPT is, you know, like uh, not, it's a premium service, you need to pay for that, okay. So he don't, he just wanted to know that if like he's prompting right or not, if he, he just buy that chat GPT and that prompting doesn't work for that research work, then why he should waste the money. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I am aware of something known as chat GPT four for free. Okay. So first of all, I will share that with Prashant, uh, after this, like how you can use chat GPT four for free. Uh, first of all, uh, I will help with that. And the next thing is, uh, if you are relying on chat GPT for, uh, uh, GK general knowledge information, like, uh, give me dates, uh, give me references. It will, uh, you cannot rely on chat GPT. Like I told you, you cannot rely on chat GPT for general knowledge. Treat it as a human. You are a human. And if I ask you certain dates, when was this country got it independence? You you will not get the right information from me because I don't remember every country is this thing. So same thing you can happen to chat GPT. So I, what I do is I treat it like a human who is I like a personal assistant. So it will do the job which you were going to do by spending a lot of time. Okay. But if you are doing searches and uh, particular dates and general knowledge references, then Google is better. Okay. Chat GPT can help you create something like I told you copywriting content. If you give it information from that information, it can fetch out things, but it cannot uh, fetch out dates and you cannot rely on them. I do not do go in that way. Uh, never with chat GPT. Uh, so that is the thing. Like I never go and search my errors on chat GPT because errors, if you want to fix your error, you have to get the right uh, right syntax in development world and technical world, you will be able to understand. Uh, so I never go and search for my error, but I try to go for an entire, I try to give the entire question to it and try to ask for a solution. So it will give me the entire solution. Now that solution will also have errors. So if that errors, I will start search independently to on Google. So errors, I never search on chat GPT. Okay. I just ask for, can you create, can you formulate something like this? So this is what uh, I think I have answered it. Sammy, I think you got your answer. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Okay. And another question was that, you know, like at Uni Athena, what is the, you know, like maximum threshold for the uh, ch uh, chat GPT generated content or any AI generated content, okay? So it's totally depend upon the university, not on Uni Athena. Since you are per uh, pursuing some degree or master's degree or doctorate with some university, so you can, you know, like um, consult your program head or program leader. So they will inform you that what percentage we are accepting as of now. Okay. But what about uh, Athena? I guess uh, what is your threshold? 30%? Uh, I think, see, at Athena, like we at Uni Athena is collaborated with different universities. Okay. So I don't know with which university you are working with. Okay, as of now, okay. like if you are using, D, if you are taking DBA program, so it will be UCAM. If you are, because we have GMU also, we have UCAM also, we yeah, have UCAM, Carolina UCAM. also. Okay, UCAM. So for UCAM, you can consult your program head or program manager. So, or you can okay. consult your yeah, PT. So he will be guiding you in a good way. All right. Okay. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. Thank you.
okay so we have next uh, attendee like um, dilshad okay dilshad you can have your question yeah dilshad are you there okay hana you can ask your question all right thank you so um i actually want to know first day how can you create the chat gtp domain because i heard you talking about it and then my next question is can you use chat gtp information to share on the internet like with other people how can you do that uh can you repeat the question prashan like if you have one okay hana can you please repeat your question all right is yes. how can you or uh, create chat gtp domain to work properly for you how can you create the domain and then the next one is that how can you share chat gtp information on the internet with other employees or workers okay uh you got the question arun so it's like how can you create chat gpt uh, domain yeah domain means uh, like are you talking about like uh, i think she wanted to embed you know like uh, the you know like power of chat gpt so that anyone from his domain or her uh, employee okay can get access to those information from his or her organization particularly okay so uh, so there is known as chat gpt like uh, you know uh, using chat gpt uh, api okay there is something known as chat gpt api you can use that api no okay and uh, basically when i am writing a question it is going to chat gpt chat gpt is giving the answer and it is being displayed over here right so you can use the same thing like you can use the api uh key uh, of chat gpt and you can use it for embed it for your application whatever you are and uh, then the same thing the same thing that you are seeing over here will be there in your system uh, wherever you want to use okay this, this that is chat gpt using chat gpt as an api okay 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 hana i think it's clear hana it's see this chat gpt is not a um, you know it's not a uh, private api okay uh, it's okay. an very big behind this chat gpt website there is a big very big machine learning model okay complete artificial intelligence models are there okay and a lot of algorithm are there so they use this algorithm to train okay and they use a lot of data to train these algorithms and based out of this data whatever you write the you write or you ask any question they provide you answers out of that data set okay so the data set is all about a lot of a bunch of content okay so for you also you can use that bunch of content for yourself but you have to use you know like um, chat gpt api okay and then you can embed in your own website if you are using like if you have your own organization or any school so obviously you can build your website and you can use your chat gpt api and then you can access this information from uh the content that chat gpt is using to train his model okay the same thing so any technical person any it guys can help you out with this all right thank you okay. and then last day can you please read a uh, example of your proposal because i heard you talking that you can okay. tell chat so, gpt yeah you okay. can write proposal so a sample of it please okay. okay no problem you can see our screen okay so mr anirban will write some uh, prompt okay and then you can see uh what she is asking for so can you uh, generate some prompt to generate a, a proposal business proposal okay okay uh <laughs> Il y a une séquence. 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 Il y a une séquence.
Non, mais je le rappelle, parce que c'est peut-être assez peu dessus, mais en gros, là, s'il y a un an, quand on a repris, elle avait commencé en 2014, euh, tout a commencé avec des provocations de ce type-là. Euh, moi, j'étais à Genève, euh, il y a eu une explosion à 300 mètres de chez moi, mais c'est des. Now this is a generic. This is, by the way, uh, this is a generic uh, reply. Okay, because I have not written a, a very specific prompt. Okay, like the previous one which I wrote. Okay, so you can make it more specific, like you know the real estate company is in this this city, and uh, the company is this many years old, and uh, then the pro your proposal will improve uh, with that. Okay, and you can create the social media platforms. Also, you can write and you can. Uh, so you can make it more specific for that uh, real estate company. Okay, that real estate company is only into land development and not into, uh, or maybe it is into only into reselling of old uh, apartments, condos, and uh, you can make all those specific use cases, like uh, and uh, change your business proposal. Thank you. Yes, welcome. Hi, Rachel, you can ask your question now. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, what about the role of chat GPT in, uh, in the legal market? And is any chance to replace the lawyers in uh, the chat GPT? Uh, uh, is there a chance to replace the lawyers? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, uh, see, I would say it cannot replace lawyers, okay, because uh, uh, how will it replace lawyers when you are actually fighting real cases, okay, how the humanly part will not come, or the human being present being there and creating an argument will not be there, but chat GPT can improve efficiency, so, like I told you, legal contract documents, a uh, lawyer takes I think like if, if you are already from this domain, you know that it takes a lot of take hours to read a lot old, old uh, cases and uh, other legal document and to create their case. And they take, I think, uh, I think few days to create their case. Okay. So, uh, so you can ask chat GPT, you know, uh, and uh, uh, to, you know, present it with your case, all the cases and chat GPT can, you know, just do it in within seconds. It can uh, create, uh, take out information and important verdicts of previous, you know, cases like this. Okay. So yeah, there have been many companies who have been solving this before ChatGPT, like eBravia and uh, Kila Systems. They have been already solving this, uh, how to take out information document, information, info, uh, important information from law document, contract documents. So uh, ChatGPT now can do it within seconds. So it will not be able to replace it. It will improve the efficiency of a lawyer because lawyer has a lot of creativity uh, in place uh, while while fighting a case. So definitely the negotiation, the lobbying skills, okay, of a lawyer uh, with the maybe if, if there is a police or a or a you know public prosecutor involved, all those things won't come from a chat GPT. And I think Paul, you know, like uh, uh, uploading any legal document on the chat GPT is not kind of you know, ethical stuff. Uh, yeah, legal document, if it is again proprietary, it's yeah. a case then. But if it's it is a legal case. document, like if it is a book, okay, that has cases, okay, they have a lot of lawyers have a lot of book in their shelves, okay. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if reading about a case, instead of that, they can just upload it. And uh, those uh, documents are anyways public, okay. So public documents, you can go and upload it and fetch out information okay but if you, if it is about a law if you're about a case which is proprietary and that you if you have confidentiality uh you know uh, client confidentiality then obviously uh you cannot share it obviously it's not recommended it's not ethical i hope you got your answer dilshob rachel you can have your answer okay um Good morning, Hi, Rachel. Please, can I talk? Yeah, yeah, please go on. Okay, thank you very much, and Tina, thank you very much for this presentation. Yes, on the chat GTP, I wanted to ask something. I've been using it for my okay, it's grad um, thesis, but um, I don't know. That's an accent. Is it true that they have another software which checks this kind of plagiarism whenever you use the chat GTP? 
in your TV somewhere in any other research field. I want to have a new system that you to check out the journals of this. Uh, Rachel, actually, we are getting some, you know, background noise from your end. So, can uh, you please repeat your question? Yes, please. I'm saying that. Yeah. Is it true that I'm I'm, I'm using the charge GTP for my thesis? Okay. And I'm asking that is it true that they have another system which is to check this kind of plagiarism? If you if that is um, charge GTP help you in your research work or any other kind. Because um, my supervisor rejected the work of my exact team. And he said, like, we use a charge GTP and we should just do I mean, accept it. I just want to make the money in that system. Like that. Okay. So, uh, Paul, the question is, you know, like, uh, again, from the research domain, okay? So, the students, okay, who is submitting his work, okay? So now it, it is very tough, you know, like to differentiate that the, uh, the content that has been generated by student is taken from any AI model tools or they have been written by themselves. Because, you know, like recently there are a few cases where learner has written, you know, question answers in his own word. They did the assignment in his own word. But when they checked with Turnitin or any other plagiarism checker software and it detected that this that content was written by, you know, like AI uh, based tools. Okay. So how ChatGPT can help us to, you know, differentiate these things? Uh, okay. Uh, so see, uh, I haven't used ChatGPT in this case, but I know, like I told you, Conchi, Conchi can actually, uh, I know, like if you are asking the question, like how it can make it plagiarism free, then Conchi can actually make it plagiarism free. Okay. okay. Uh, so that is the answer to that question. But, uh, if you want chat GPT to differentiate, uh, between, uh, between tone, uh, but chat GPT is not trained for that. Mm -hmm. Like it cannot differentiate between plagiarism or, uh, this thing, but you, if you can give it a lot of data to it, like you can give thousands of data of AI and thousands of data of, uh, of human generated text. And then ask that, what uh, can you tell me like, uh, and then you can give another text and ask like whether this text is generated by AI or not, then you can, you, you can, you, uh, you can get the answer. Are you getting it? You are basically training chat GPT with a domain information of thousands of rows of data from AI and thousands of rows of data from human generated text. And then asking chat GPT that my next text that I'm giving you is this a human generated or AI generated. This is one way you can do it. This is the most greedy way of doing it. I hope the answer is clear. Yes, it's clear, but um, I still want to whether we have another system that used to check the Jarison for chance GPT. Okay, so that. Russell, actually the thing is recently, you know, uh, turn it in came up with new option where you can check that how much content is taken from AI based tools. So Turnitin has embedded this technique in his uh, plagiarism checker. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So we will take few more questions. Okay. Anthony, you can have your question. Anthony. Okay. Tanjina, you can have your question. Tanjina, if you're there, you can ask your question. Okay. Remy, are you there, Remy? I think Remy already gave his question. Robert. Okay, Anthony. Hello. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, please ask your question. Okay. Yeah, my question is the amount of image a utility like. 
uh, a personal assistant utility where I can use, I can embed chat GPT into it to the point where I can have assistance with any other topic that I want to. So it's like I wanted to know which language is like very accurate for a situation like this. Okay, maybe he wanted to ask that how he can use chat GPT as a personal assistant. Okay. This is a quick question, Robert. Yeah, let me say. Is it is that the question? Um, yeah, that's sort of the question. Yeah, like what you wanted to do, like you, you can just write like this, like you are my personal assistant, you are my uh, personal. No, that's not what I want to do. I am not, uh, I cannot understand what you're saying. Can you please repeat? Okay, um, what I'm saying is that I wanted to, um, I wanted to create um, a, a tool, like a new tool, like a utility where it will act as my personal assistant. So I wanted to embed such GPT into it so that like I can have access to a wide variety or a wide uh, uh, encyclopedia of knowledge so that any, any situation or any problem that I have, I can ask my personal assistant for knowledge or guidance on it and it can be useful. But I just wanted to know like which programming language is very accurate for this utility in order to embed such things into it. Can you repeat? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Paul. It's, it's so I'm repeating his question. So he wanted which programming language he uh, should know that he can embed this chat GPT to build some kind of um, personal assistant kind of stuff for him. Which will do some task. Uh, yeah. Physical task. Not physical task. Or if like a personal assistant means if he wants some kind of answers to related something, you know, like uh, the way the Google did, but Google is into like wide variety. Okay. Python, Python, like uh, Python, you can again use chat GPT. You want some specific uh, answers to. So I think he can embed this chat GPT API using, you know, like website also he can make, he can make an app also. So for okay. everything you require an API, okay, chat GPT API. So yeah. if you are working with Android thing, then you must be aware of Java kind of or JavaScript kind of things. So if you are working with the website thing, then you must be again knowing HTML, JavaScript for those kind of things. I think these are the programming language they yes. should know. So it depends on the application that you applications, are Applications, yeah. Uh, on that, like ultimately the part of chat GPT yeah. that you will do is calling that API. Okay. Mm. That API of chat GPT. So that you can do it from any language uh, of your need. Like if it is a website, then a JavaScript uh, is there. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. If it is IoT, then uh, then yeah, Raspberry Pi and all those things you can. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Anthony, you want to ask any question? Remy, Anthony, I think. Okay, awesome. You want to ask any question? Thank you very much, Paul. Yeah, I have been using a chat GPT for like a, a month now, okay. but I have issues in actually getting images or save attaching video or graphs or pictures to my to the responses that ChatGPT gives to my prompt. So how can I actually get images, graphs, or say uh, videos? Because I know it's possible, but when I ask a uh, the, the response chat GPT will give me it's actually an inanimate a kind of uh, inanimate box trying to refer the image somewhere but when I click it the image doesn't open so I don't know how GPT, I can uh, chat GPT that. cannot generate images so that's period like uh, that uh, you know you have to digest the fact that chat GPT cannot generate okay. 
Yeah. But uh, I think, uh, Paul, I think uh, if you access OpenAI, so there is some features available in OpenAI website where you can generate uh, uh, images out of text. Oh, that so, is that is Dolly. That Dolly, is not, yeah. That, yeah. That is Dolly, stable, uh, yeah, uh, uh, mid journey, yeah. stable diffusion. Uh, these are different tools. Yeah. That is nothing related to ChatGPT. ChatGPT, yeah. You can use those tools and you can generate, you know, images out of your text. Yeah. Can like, you can you please type those tools in the comment is, section for me, please? Uh, you can see this. You just go to OpenAI and you can select this Dell. See. See, I have opened Dolly actually. Like, uh, yeah. You you can search uh, Google like D A L L E and yeah. you will get Dolly. And Dolly has uh, a lot of limit. I think a per user it can generate around hundred or fifty images. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know till what time, like in a month or like a, in in a day or that is the maximum like you can write a uh, uh, dog in pluto or you know suppose it will create it will start creating <clears throat> and this is what uh, and dolly came before chat gpt so this is the first thing like a uh, dog in pluto planet There is another tool known as mid journey that also you can use. Ah, see, this is how your images will come. Okay. Okay. So you have nine credits left. Okay. So that is like, you have very limit on uh, Dolly. Chat GPT is more free than Dolly. Okay. And here about videos. Uh, videos, uh, there is nothing chat GPT or Dolly. There is a different tool which can create. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it is from OpenAI. Yeah, there are a lot of website. Okay, you just type, you know, like create a video out of text. Okay, so there are a lot of AI tools, AI based websites that can provide you that kind of service. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you can ask your question. Okay. Hello. Okay, I want to ask can I? Uh, you are doing a very good job. So I Thank want to you. ask, okay, can I um, use a uh, chat GPT to prompt to prompt for article writing? Sorry, can, can I, I use? Uh, so I say I have been using chat GPT for a very long time now for for some time. I want to know if uh, if I can use chat GPT to prompt uh, for article writing article writing definitely you can use it. yes 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 you can use like i have so uh, if it can create business it can create, yeah, okay if it can create emails it can create articles as well okay uh, okay so how can i prompt that? how can i uh, how will i show the prompts on the, on uh, the yes you can write like this uh, uh, like you are uh, like uh, you are a article, you are a writer, author, who writes articles on what topic? On maybe uh, cancer, okay? Uh, can you write about the mod modern development of medicines uh, for for cancer uh, beside the chemotherapy the article should should be uh, very unbiased uh, should be unbiased and look like as if as if a human have written okay so it will start writing okay 
and uh, now depending upon your use case you can refine the query you can refine this prompt like i have written a prompt which is still generic it is not so specific also uh but you can you know uh, change it uh see it's uh, it's literally writing Okay. I hope I have answered your question. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you, Paul. Yes. So, Paul, I think we have answered maximum number of questions, and you no, know, now the questions that are coming to us are very repetitive. Okay. So, Anthony, I think it is clear. Anthony, you have any issue? Hello. Hello. Yeah, Anthony, I think. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. I think your question has been answered. No, I didn't ask any question. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. Yes, uh, it's my first time here. I don't really, I don't really know anything about Chat G, uh, G P T. Yeah. So, okay. And it's my first time, and uh, I'll, I've been following you guys since you started. But okay. I, I joined it, you know. Okay. So I don't really know what it, what a, uh, what a uh, chat uh, GDP uh, uh, entails. So okay. I've, I've asked some questions, and nobody tried uh, getting back to me. So I want to know what you guys, in a nutshell, what you guys are all about, sir. Uh, see, actually, Anthony, like, you know, like we have started from very much scratch, what is chat GPT and how it works for in different domains and how it can help in different businesses. Okay. And the thing is, you know, like we have completed this webinar and we are in the process of Q&A. So the, you know, like the session for this webinar is available on YouTube and I have shared the link. Okay. In the chat section, you can access the complete webinar video over on the YouTube section. Okay. So it will be clear to you. Okay, Anthony. Okay, so Paul, I think we have answered a uh, maximum number of questions. Okay, and whatever the questions are coming, okay, it's a repetitive question. So before winding up, I would like to thanks, okay, for taking this uh, time from your busy schedule and enlightening our learners or attendees. Okay, so a lot of learners are there also. Okay, and we have a lot of new attendees also. So I hope everyone enjoyed this session. And uh, obviously now they can get, you know, like help of this chat GPT into his particular domain. Okay. And uh, I think they can do wonders using this open AI websites. Okay. And uh, there are a lot of technical questions, as you know, like it is not possible to answer all those technical questions and uh, they need to research by their own and they can get the answers. And obviously chat GPT is there so they can get those answers from there also. So once again, thank you, uh, Paul, for giving this wonderful time and thank you for this wonderful session. Okay. Uh, so you want to uh, say some uh, words, Paul? Yes. So everyone, uh, like, uh, you know, thanks for being a great audience. Okay. I hope I have added some value uh, to your uh, journey in this. Like if you are going to explore this, do. And uh, a lot of people asking about prompts. Uh, the best way to learn prompts is to ask ChatGPT itself. The mm -hmm. best answer is from ChatGPT only. You can get a lot of prompts ideas. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's all. Like, uh, thanks for being a great audience. Uh, all the best for your journey. Okay, so before ending up this webinar, I would uh, you know like like to introduce or uh, I would like to broadcast one information uh, over this uh, Uniathena domain that we are very soon launching an MBA program in MBA in data analytics and business intelligence. Okay, and uh, like this program is all about you know how you can manage your data and how you can build some kind of intelligence model. Okay, to predict something 
or to you know like uh, come up with some recommendation systems okay so this mbr program is very much in for all those uh, persons or all those you know like uh, executives who wanted to excel in their career they want to make their move into data field okay so obviously we are already having a uh, masters program in data science but this is all about business intelligence management and then data okay it's a combination of management data and analytics and intelligence so we are very soon we will be launching this program and we will be having a very big webinar uh, where we will be launching this uh, course so um, i would request all the attendees that you can come up uh, on our website www.uniathena.com i have shared the link also and you can check out various courses like post graduate diploma post graduate certificate masters mba mba programs and also dba program also you can have a doctorate degree over here with uni athena and you know like we have uh, collaborated with a lot of uh, european universities and the best thing is that these degrees are accepted accepted worldwide okay this is not just a limited to african countries or the european countries so these degrees are accepted worldwide so you can uh, get access to all this information on our website so you can check our website i have shared the links on the chat box okay and if you have any issue or any queries then i have shared uh, uh, my numbers also some sales number also you can connect over there and you can get all the information from there okay so thank you everyone for joining this uh, webinar i hope you got some information from this uh, particular domain that is chat gpt or ai domain and also uh, like uh, we will you know like continue to present uh, several kind of webinar from different domains so that uh, you get enlightened into various domains thank you everyone thank you paul for joining this session thank you for joining this webinar thank you very much everyone thank you prashan and paul thank you thank you awesome bye bye take care thank, thank you. you thank you thank bye you.